Hey YouTube, I have not done one of these in a while, so I'm going to be doing a sister lock update. I have not done one, honestly, in probably a good seven months or so, maybe? I don't know, I could be off. But anywho, I just left from getting my hair retightened. Um, I've officially, oh you see this one? This is a baby lock she just installed right here. I don't know how long that little thing is going to last. Kind of being on the edge like that. But, um... Oh, what was I about to say? Okay, so I'm three years... And almost seven months. Because my three and a half year mark would have been May... I think it was May 11th. May 10th, May 11th. One of them days. Um, so... I am officially uh, three and a half years and some change locked. Um, my hair is still not 100% sealed and locked. I'm not going to sit there and lie to you and be like, oh yeah, so I locked it, ain't. Um, I have some sealed ends. Some ends are not sealed. It just kind of depends. They're kind of all over the place. But um, the even the ones with the curly cues, I don't think that they would unravel. I think that they're locked. I just don't think that they're sealed. So, and but then I do still have a few, as I've told you guys before, in the nape area of my neck where that texture of hair is just really, really soft. And so, obviously, I don't know how long that section is going to take. This one is really kind of freaking me out because <laughs> I was wondering what that was when I got in the car. I didn't realize she had stuck a new one right there. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, I washed my hair last night, obviously, because I got it retightened in today, and I blow dried it instead of doing the braid out. I'm actually kind of starting to like blow drying my hair. It's funny because when my hair wasn't really all that locked, I didn't like to um, wear it straight because to me it still looked funny. But now that like my locks are a little puffier and things of that nature, I don't mind wearing my hair uh, straight anymore. So now I'll actually wash it and blow dry it and then sometimes I'll braid it up. It just kind of depends on what it is all I got going on. Cause like if it's, um, my camera kind of moved. If it's like a holiday or a special occasion, I will go ahead and sit down and really braid it up into a bunch of little small braids. But here's the thing, my braid outs here lately don't last. Like, and I know it's summertime too. And we definitely have humidity in Kansas City. So... I personally don't know if it's just the humidity right now or what, but here lately, when I've been doing these braid outs, they don't last at all. So because these braid outs have not been lasting, I didn't really feel like I need to take 30 minutes to braid up my hair into a bunch of little bitty braids for the last two days. Three days tops, literally. Um, I also take really hot showers, so I'm pretty sure that probably contributes to it but uh yeah so basically i just i have not really been wanting to do braid outs so typically i do still braid and band when i wash but it's not anything major i basically oh i hope this video does not come out shaky but i go down the uh the middle line parts basically down the middle and across that and then i'll just do four big chunky um braids band them at the end wash it uh I use a t-shirt to dry my hair and then when I get done I uh, take out each braid one at a time and blow dry that section and then that's it and I'll spray some uh, rose water or some I still have some of the sister lock spray as well and I'll spray one of those on my head and that's it the only time I don't spray anything on my head is before I go get my hair retightened because I just want your hair clean without any moisturizers or anything on it so um but then she sprays your hair with the moisturizer when she's done. So, but other than that, I don't really do nothing to my hair. I just, you know, wash it, blow dry it, and that's it. Um, not really a whole lot going on with my head, to be quite honest with you. I mean, it's growing, but that's really about it. We did get my appointments booked at least until I think like October of uh, this year so she'll probably a lot of times she likes to get into this thing where she'll sit down and she'll just start booking you appointments when she knows kind of like the schedule that you like to keep 
and then it'll just email it to you but the last time she did it it didn't email me and so I happened to call the shop and I'm like hey I need to make an appointment and she was like oh you're booked until like July and I'm like well I don't know I'm booked so <laughs> what are my appointments and then um, she actually texted me yesterday morning and had me come in a week earlier so I don't know if they're going out of town or something I know they typically do like a shop vacation which I think is kind of neat um, all the girls from the shop typically go on vacation for at least a week or so at a time but then I also know one of the girls at the shop had a baby so it could be maybe she's kind of helping to keep her clients you know satisfied until she gets back from maternity leave but either way it go she uh, asked me could she get me in a week earlier and I was fine with it so it worked out pretty good plus I was really thinking I felt like I really felt like I needed to retighten anyway so that actually worked out pretty good but my appointment was scheduled for Tuesday and today's Thursday so it just would have been a few extra days um I'm trying to think um I still use the uh ketoconolazole shampoo from the dermatologist um that's been doing really really well with my dandruff um last night the only difference with that was I didn't have a uh I have a shower cap but I don't use that for that because then I have to wash out my shower cap before I use it again and I'm being lazy I don't want to do that just being honest um so I like to buy the little plastic jerry curl caps that you get from like the dollar store and you get like a big pack of them and it's what like a couple dollars so typically um when I wash my hair I'll do the first lather rinse it do the second lather and I'll slap that on and then I'll let it stay on for about 15 minutes and then I'll wash it out and then I'm good to go but last night I just put my t-shirt around my shoulders and just let it sit on my head and it actually was not all that bad I was thinking it was going to be bad I think wearing that cap is actually worse than just keeping the phone you know around the perimeter of your head so uh yeah that is really all I have for y'all I don't want to try to sit here and keep y'all uh, extra long if I don't have to. Um, so yeah, that is my sister lock journey story for right now. Um, I hate doing car videos because they make you look a whole lot chunkier than what you are. Even though I'm a big girl, I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh my god, I'm so no. I'm a big girl, sorry. But um, yeah, this is my hair. Uh, doing oh my god i don't like this new little locky poo right here i don't i don't like it at all but uh i know that's her job is to to get all the hair and sometimes she will stick it into an old lock but if it's enough to make a new lock she will because i have several little baby locks especially around the nape of my neck i have what one this one was one when i first started that one got real long. This was a baby lock. You can't even see how long it is. That one I had got like six months in. <laughs> That's how long it is now. <laughs> um, I got one over here. See how long that is? That was maybe about eight months in. She put that one in. Uh, I've got another one over here. I don't, I can't pull it out far enough for you to see it while I'm driving, but it goes out to about here. No, that ain't it. That's a lie. Sorry, y'all. It is right here. It's a little one. It's about that long. And that one got put in maybe four months ago, something like that. So the little baby ones do grow. And if she sees something extra, she grabs, she grabs it, and she uh, puts a little lock. So yeah, that is all I have for y'all. Um, hopefully, I will get you guys a sister lock update that is not done being in my car, but I've been kind of busy with work and college and college on top of college. So. <laughs> And being a single parent and all that lovely jazz so with everything i got going on i've just been really really busy so i figured i would catch y'all leaving the beauty shop to go to my mom's to go pick up my son um so yeah that is my three and a half and some changes uh sister block update i would do my best to get you guys one um for the four year for sure which will be in november I'll have to look at my old videos because I know, and I think I have it on my calendar at work. It says like SL23 or whatever. Well, by that time it say SL4, basically for Sister Like Anniversary. But I believe, I believe it was like November 10th or 11th. 
It might have been the 10th. It might have been the 10th. Um, I know whatever day it was, it's on a Monday that year because she does all of her fresh installs on Mondays. Because I think with the whole sister locks thing, you can't do sister locks around people that don't do sister locks as far as installs because they can't watch you do it so they don't learn how to do it or whatever. Something like that. Copyright type stuff. And she can do retightenings in front of people, but she can't do installs in front of people. So she always does her installs on Monday when the shop is closed. So, um, yeah. That is all I have for y'all. This is getting kind of long, and I keep saying that like a broken record. So you guys have a great day, afternoon, morning, evening, weekend, holiday. Uh, by the way, how was your Memorial Day? Was it all right? You know, I can say as we've gotten older, our holidays are not the same anymore. At least not to me. When you get older and then you come from a blended family and then everybody, all your siblings all got their own family and it's just, yeah, stuff is not the same. But, you know, change is a good thing. But yeah, we all still got together and went out and did, you know, or me, my mom, and my sister did. We went to the grave sites like we do every year. And my uh, papa is what I like to call him. He um he barbecued at my house, and my sister and my nephew came by, and then my sister-in-law and my nieces came by for a quick second. So that was a uh, that was my holiday. Uh, my munchkin was with his uh, dad's people. So yeah, that was a uh, that was the holiday. It went by real quick because everybody got to go to work in the morning. So, hey, when you got to go to work on Tuesday morning, everybody at your house by like 3, 4 o'clock. So, you know, hey, happy Memorial Day. Anyway, let me get off this camera talking to y'all. I'm just Chatty Kathy. So, thank y'all so much for watching. I will get you guys the four-year update in November. And, yes, I'm promising you something in November on um, the last day of May. I know. But I'd rather tell you now than you expect to update next month and you ain't gonna get it so <laughs> oh also y'all one more thing i can pull all this stuff up into a ponytail now and like i seriously have hang time it is so amazing i need to learn how to edit so i can make me like put pictures in of my hair y'all would probably like that i should probably learn how to do that or find somebody to teach me how to do that um yeah, so thank you again so much for watching this is the last one to tell y'all that y'all have a great day bye